Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is apparently there were some problems with the Unify Auto backup. And so we're going to take a look at that posting real quick. And then we're going to go to the two places where you can look at some backups. And this is for Unify network application and then for your console. So um, over here, this was um, edited six days ago. And I was just, this was just brought to my attention, I think uh, maybe yesterday, maybe Saturday. But apparently uh, a small number, and I don't know what a small number is, but a small number of Ubiquity accounts had problems with their full Unify OS backups to the cloud. And several people got, got kind of caught with this, right? Uh, they were um, needing to download their backups and found out that Backups didn't work, right? What a horrible, horrible way to find out that your backups don't work. Now, what Ubiquity is saying is that um, a small uh, number of users may have been experiencing an inability to restore from a system config backup file saved to their Ubiquity account. They, uh, you know, did a, a release. But what the problem was is a small number of Ubiquity accounts impacted are primarily a subset of those that obtained their initial Unify console by means of the ownership transfer feature found within the Unify OS settings and that rotated their account password between August and December of last year. And then we just caught it um, here in the last few weeks. Now, don't be skewering Ubiquity too too bad over this because, first of all, this means if it went this long without us catching it, that people weren't testing their backups. But second of all, you know, somebody had to find the bug, right? So um, it says that on Tuesday, August 22nd, the fix has been deployed inside of Unify OS. Affected users, which you don't know maybe if you were an affected user or not, must authenticate into the Unify portal or their Ubiquity account, after which... Uh, time the future system config backups will be available for restoration. So, all right, so let's take a look real quick. This is my UDR. So actually, let me get back to the actual main UDR page. Hold on. Okay, so here's my main UDR page. So I'm going to go to console settings, and this is where uh, the, the backup is, right? I'm doing this weekly to... Ubiquity to my UI.com account and I can back up now or I can restore. So if I click restore, it's going to ask me which console and which backup and uh, which, uh, or, and then ask for my, my password. So if I actually log into my Ubiquity account, um, maybe I can actually download those. Let's check that out. So if I go to my Ubiquity account um, and I do manage account and then uh, go to my backups, I can select my console and you can see here's my UDR. I have 21 backups and I can come in here and individually download these. So it's probably a good idea to make sure you've got one, you know, on site instead of leaving everything necessarily in the cloud. But if you want to test this, you can download it. And then you can uh, go into this uh, restore and you can actually upload that file too. So go check that out. Make sure you understand that these options are available. Make sure you're retaining a backup off site and that you test that this backup does work. Now, the other backup you're going to want to look at is your Unify backup. And to check that out, you're going to go into settings, system, backups, and Right now we're doing an auto uh, backup monthly. We can reschedule this to be daily or weekly. And then are we doing settings only? That's what I do because I don't need that data for anything else. Then I can either restore it and it's going to look. I can either restore it and it's going to look to where that's at. Or I can download these backups and settings only. So make sure you're checking your Unify backups. Uh, make sure that if you think you were affected by this, that you're going in, changing your password, make sure you do all the things that Ubiquity needs you to do. The most important thing is make sure you have a backup and it's tested because 
a backup that is not tested is not a backup. So if you've got questions about it, let me know down in the comments with this link. You know as much as I do, so I don't have any other details besides what's been posted here, but go check your backups. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel, we do have our affiliate links down below, our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.